When it looked like oh robot sin de lebo shaliana. Oh, when it looked like Pharaoh had the children trapped. Oh, when it looked like Pharaoh had the children trapped against the Red Sea. Oh, Roban Shin de Lebo Ko Sabana. Oh, they say, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now, Moses? What will we do now? Pharaoh and his army is widely, fastly approaching. What is our God? You talk to your God. What is your God gonna do now? Oh, the Lord told him, Look at what you have in your hand. Look at what you have in your hand. It seemed to be just a stick or a rod. But just you that my anointing is upon it. My anointing is upon it. My anointing is upon it. Yes. Oh, stretch it out. Stretch it out. Surely as Moses stretched it out before the Red Sea. We know that the sea opened up. The Bible said it opened up. And all the children of Israel, they escaped. They escaped, Father. Oh, you would think that that sea, Lord, would have been soaked and wet. And, and you, but I know you paved the way. You paved the way, Father. You had to pave a way and make concrete on the bottom of that sea, Father. As the children of Israel, surely, as they got over to the other side, we know, Lord God, that Pharaoh and his army, yeah, Pharaoh's army still approached. Oh, they still try to approach, Father. Yes, but what the enemy has meant for evil for them. Oh, you turn it around for the good. Oh, you open those walls up. And you're the one that closed them back down. Surely as you open those walls up, Father, you closed it back down on the enemy. Oh, so we thank you, Lord God. You are taking care of our enemy this morning. We thank you, Lord God. We know the Bible tells us in John 10 and 10. Oh, the thief come not, but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. Oh, but you say, I'm come, Lord Jesus. I am come that you might have life. That you might have life might have life. So it's up to us, Father. It's up to us that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We have the life when we be obedient to your word. Oh, when we be hearers and doers of your word. When we do according to what you said in Matthew 6 and 33. Oh, we know that the followers of Jesus, they was concerned. Oh, he told them, huh, be not concerned about saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or well with it, how shall we be clothed? He said, For the Lord knoweth you have need of all these things. He knoweth you have need of all these things. So don't be worried about what shall you eat or what shall you drink. He said, For the Lord knows you have need of all these things. But in Matthew 6 and 33, he said, But seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. His ways, his will, his plan, his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh, and he said all these things. All these things. Not he didn't say some of these things. He said all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Walk after his will. His way, his plan, his purpose for your life. Oh, believe in him. Trust in him. Oh, so we thank you this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, that we are seeking your way. We are seeking your will. We are seeking your plan. We are seeking your purpose, Father. So we know, Lord God, that you have a plan. You have a purpose for us as the children of God. So we're going to continue to follow after your plan. To follow after your way and after your will, Lord. Oh, so we thank you, Lord God. Once again, we present your word back unto you, Lord. Oh, we know your word, Father. You watch over your word to perform it. Whatever you said, we have a right as children of God to call you in remembrance of your word. We have a right as children of God if you said it in your word, Father. Oh, we know that your word is alive. Your word is still here active today, Father. In John 6, 63, it says, it is the spirit that quickened it. It said the flesh profiteth nothing. Oh, the word I speak unto you. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit. 
and they are life. So we know that your word is alive, Father. Your word is alive and your word is still active today, Father. So we thank you, Lord God. And we present your word back unto you this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you will perform it. Whatever we ask this morning, Father, you told us you would even give us the desires of our heart. Oh, so we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you're working right now on our behalf. You're working behind the scenes. We thank you for the ministering angels, Lord God. Ministering angels right now, Father, out of that 91st Psalm. In that 91st Psalm, you say, he that dwelleth. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. I will say of the Lord, it's my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fire and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. You say, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil be for thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give it the angels. Oh, he shall give his angels. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt thread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he had known my name, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him and trust for him. I will deliver him and honor him and show him my salvation. So that's what we're believing right now, Father. Oh, that 91st Psalm, Father. Oh, we're dwelling in that secret place. We're dwelling in that secret place this morning, Father. Oh, you say, he that dwells in that secret place of the Most High shall abide up under the shadow of the Almighty. So right now, we'll thank you, Lord God, that we're abiding under that shadow right now, Father. Oh, right now, we're abiding under that shadow. You told us, Lord, oh, a thousand shall fall. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at thy right hand. Oh, and it won't even come near us, Father. Every plague, everything that the enemy has set against us, Father. We thank you right now, Father. We pulling down the stronghold. All oh, the weapons of our warfare surely are not corner, but mighty through God. They're pulling down them stronghold. Yes, so we thank you, Lord God. We are casting down imagination in every high thing right now, Father. We thank you, Lord God. We have the weapons of our warfare. Or oh, our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace according to Ephesians, Lord God. Oh, you put on, told us to put on the helmet of salvation. Oh, oh, take the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We take that sword right now. We cut out everything and anything that's not like you this morning, Father. Oh, we are cutting away right now. Everything, every wall that the enemy have put up right now. We're slashing with our sword, Father. Oh, we're bringing that word back to you right now. We're slashing it down right now, Father. Oh, we're doing like, oh, robot, sin, daddy, oh, son of a. We're coming with a Joshua spirit. We're coming with a Joshua spirit, Father. Oh, when Joshua and Caleb went out to spy the land. When they went out to spy the land. Oh, they came back. Some came back with an evil report. They say, surely, surely the land flows with milk and honey. Oh, and they're great. Big grapes and everything in the land, the fruit of the land is fruitful. Just like you said, Lord. Oh, but the giants in the land. The giants in the land, and they said, we see ourselves as grasshoppers, and so were we in their sight. So we don't have that grasshopper mentality, Lord God. We have a Joshua and a Caleb. Oh, We come like Joshua and Caleb this morning, Father. Oh, Joshua and Caleb was the only one brought back a good report. They said, we are well able. 
We are well able to overcome it, Lord. We are well able to take the land. We are well able to take the land for you, Father. So we come with a Joshua and Caleb spirit this morning, Father. Oh, and they marched around. They marched around the land. They marched around seven times. They marched around that great wall seven times. That wall was so great. Oh, that chariot could roll around that whole wall. That wall was so great, but it's not greater than our God. How great is our God? How great is our God? They marched around that wall seven times. And the Bible tells us that that wall fell down flat. So right now, Father, we are thanking you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for all those that are believing and trusting you right now, Father. I know that there are some special needs right now, Father. I pray for every special need. All those that I'm aware of and those who are live streaming right now who are praying for special needs, Father, we thank you that you are meeting and supplying that need and above that need. I pray for my, my nephew Damien, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that all your abundance, thank you, Lord God, that you have him in that shadow. Oh, that he dwelt in that secret place. And the Bible tells us, oh, with long life, will you satisfy us? Those who I'm praying and believing for right now, Father, I thank you for Damien. Thank you for working out for Damien. I pray for Sharon's mother. That you're working every hour for her good, Father. Thank you that you're ministering help and healing to her body right now, even as I speak, Lord. I thank you, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, oh, for all those right now, Father, who've been live streaming and those who even in here, Father, may have a need. I thank you that you're taking care of that need right now, Father. Thank you, Lord God. We pray for every church, every ministry all over the world that they continue to bring forth the word, Lord, that you will give them boldness, accuracy, that they will continue, Lord God, to bring forth that word. Oh, and feed your people. Feed the sheep and feed the lamb, Father. So we are grateful and we are thankful for it, Father. And we thank you once again, Father, that you are meeting and supplying all the needs of your people. Everyone that have a need, we thank you that you are meeting them right now in Jesus' name. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, your word has been spoken. Father, adhere to it, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that every word shall complete and accomplish where to you send it, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for victory in the spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for you being our Lord. Despite everything we see, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, too, for your spirit of love, Father, that you spread upon in our hearts, Father. And we, love, we pray for our neighbors, Lord, because we love them. You said, love thy neighbors, Lord, as ourself, Father. And, Father, we pray for our neighbors, Lord. I, everywhere we live, Father, I pray for the the room and houses lord jesus i pray for the homeless shelter right now everyone in them lord jesus father let your love just rain upon them lord let, let them feel your presence father let them acknowledge you as lord father in jesus name lord in your spirit father father in the byways and highways in the jails father we pray for the every prisoner lord jesus father let that seed that's been planted in them at a young age grow lord jesus so they can acknowledge you lord and come to you lord let them bow their hearts lord and minds and surrender father in jesus name father we know lord jesus that we're not the only ones praying let us connect with every intercessor in this city and in the country lord because we're praying for this country father we're praying for leaders father in jesus name we're praying for the presidents the governors the senators the house of representatives father the mayors lord everyone in the house anybody with authority over the people your people father we thank you lord jesus that you're touching their hearts father father you're drawn by your spirit father we find the very evil thing that they're speaking in their ear to do anything wicked father let them see you lord father in jesus name father even in the in the psalms that brother spoken down with what you do to the wicked father 
Father, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you have mercy upon them and show them your love, Father. You know you did everything out of love, Father. And we thank you for it right now in Jesus' name, Father. We thank you for your grace and mercy, Father. We know we didn't deserve it, Father. But we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you turned our life around. You let us surrender, Father. You gave us a way out with Jesus, Father. And we give you glory and honor and praise, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, for the nurses, Lord, the, the assistants, Lord Jesus, everyone that deal, that deal with show people and their health, Lord, as we on this earth, Lord, we know our body's going to pass away, but Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we, we want our eyes, their eyes on you, Lord. Let us set our treasures in heaven, Father, not on this earth, Father. You know, the pain we go through, we give it to you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, and we rejoice in our suffering. We rejoice in what we go through in tribulation Lord. But we want to see you Lord. Let them see your glory in their life in Jesus name. Father fall, fall afresh upon them Lord. Let your healing touch touch them. Let your presence be felt in this place in every hospital, nursing home Lord Jesus. Father people on dialysis Lord. I bind the very works of the enemy Lord Jesus trying to kill your people and destroy them Lord. Father let their blood blood flow less like your blood flow from Jesus Lord Jesus that they will have no problem Father bless the text Lord Jesus the nurses Lord Jesus even the facility with a heart even though it is, they're making money let just let them make, know that it's because of you that they are there because you love your people Lord let us love each other Lord Jesus Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, let us love above all during, during, during this time of evil. Father, let your love be shown and your presence be felt. Let people know that you love them on this earth and there's a way out. Send laborers in the, in the field. And Father, we call in laborers, Lord. We call in every person that has a heart for you, Lord Jesus. No matter what they're doing, Lord, let their heart be drawn to us, drawn to each other, the Father. Let us connect in a way that we never did so we can pray and connect all across the land, Father, in Jesus' name. Let your spirit be felt, Lord Jesus. Let us connect, Father. We know, Father, you adhere to our prayers, Father. We know that you're in our presence, Father. Let us represent you, Lord, in a good way. Let your blood be seen, your righteousness, not our righteousness, but your righteousness through us, Lord. That you get the glory and the honor in all that we do, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Father, nothing is too hard for you. Father, you are the biggest thing in all my life, Father. Let them see that every circumstance is not bigger than you. Every situation is not bigger than you. Their pain is not bigger than you. What they're going through, their addiction is not bigger than you. The heartbreak is not bigger than you, Lord. Nothing is bigger than you, Lord. So we put you out there. We see you, Lord. We seek you first, Lord. Let them go back to one Father in Jesus' name. We seek you first in your righteousness, Lord. Your righteousness, Lord. Not what we think. Not what we feel, but your righteousness cover us, Lord Jesus. Let us trust only in you, Lord Jesus. We lean not to our own understanding, but we understand that you, you are our author and the finish of our faith, Father. And we love you, Lord Jesus. You are the Alpha and Omega, Father, and we love you, Lord. We give you praise, glory, and honor, Father. Father, we understand that you made us the head and not the tail, Lord Jesus. 
We are above and not beneath. Father, you said whatever we loose on earth, you shall loose in heaven. We loose love. We loose peace. We loose joy in the Holy Ghost that you, Lord, be glorified, Father. We want them to acknowledge you that you be glorified. You shall be glorified even in death. We need them to come to a point of surrenderance and, and see past themselves, Father. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise and glory, Lord Jesus, for all that you do, all that you've done, Father. To this point, Father, we exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, my Lord. Let your presence be felt. Even this morning across this land, across this city, Lord, right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, in this area, Father, we call in the souls. We call in the harvest, Father. We pray, Lord Jesus, that those seeds been planted to be watered, Father. We call in them. We call them from every direction. The north, the east, and the south. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that those seeds have been grown, they're watered, and they're drawn, coming in, Father. Draw off them people by your spirit, Father. If you, we lift you up according to your word, you said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to you, Lord. We see in you and only you. Shape and mold us like you want us to be. To your glory, Father, we surrender. Again and again, we surrender. Every day, we surrender. We give you praise, glory, and honor, Lord. We surrender to your will, to your mercy, Father. Be exalted in us. Let us see peace, see past ourselves. We pray for the leaders of the church right now, Lord Jesus. We pray for every pastor, every teacher, every minister, Lord, that they can see past themselves and it's not about them. It's not about them how they shine in the pulpit, not about them how they perform. It's not about their entertainment, but it's about you and we, that you should be glorified. That you are the answer. That you touch hearts. That you change hearts. You change minds. And we know it's you, Lord. And we follow your word, Lord. And we give you praise and glory and honor, Lord. We take no thought, no, no acclamations, no, no authority. For it's all in you. It's all because of what you do. Thank you for our purpose for our life, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you made le you make leaders, you make teachers, you make them, Father. Let this world know that you make them, and if they're not following you, they're not the leader that they should be. Father, let those humble and receive your word with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. That we we come to you, Lord Jesus, that you're. You in authority. Our life belongs to you. Father, we accept that we're not a citizen of this earth. We're a citizen of heaven. And, and we think your kingdom is our home. And that's what we're looking forward to, Lord. Our treasures are set in heaven. Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor. And Father, we thank you for this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus hallelujah. Name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. 
Lord, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Lord, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. Lord, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I give you all of me. I give you all of me, withholding nothing. Father God, we're grateful and we'll thank you, Lord God. We know that you told us in your word, Lord God. You said in Matthew, uh, you told us, Father, 18 and 19, if any two of us shall agree on earth, us touching anything, that we shall ask the Father. It shall, shall be done for us by our Father which is in heaven. So we thank you, Lord God, according to Matthew 18 and 19. Every petition, everything that we've asked for this morning, everything that we believe in you for this morning, Father. We thank you that we have it right now by faith, Lord. By faith, Father, we have it right now. According to your word in Matthew 18 and 19, you told us in 18 and 18, you said, whatever we bind on earth, that you will bind in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, you are loosed in heaven. So right now, we bind principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. Everything, Lord, that exalts itself against you right now, we against the church, against the believers. Right now, Father, we bind them right now in Jesus' name, according to Matthew 18 and 18. You said, whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Right now, we loose the blood of Jesus. I loose the blood of Jesus over Faith City International Ministry. I loose the blood of Jesus over our leaders. I loose the blood of Jesus over everyone that attends this ministry, over every ministry all over the world right now. Father, we loose the blood. We loose the ministering angel to go forth, Father, to bring forth whatever is needed right now, Father. Oh, so whatever we bind, whatever we loose, Father, and once again, we call you in remembrance of your word, Matthew 18 and 19. So we know that you're not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man. But whatever you said in your word, we know that you'll make it good, Father. I know even, Lord, in Hezekiah, in Hezekiah, Hezekiah had worked diligently for you, Lord. Back in the Old Testament, he had did many works for you, Lord. Oh, you sent a prophet to his house, and the prophet... Hezekiah was sick. The Bible tells us he was sick unto death. He was waiting for a word from the prophet. And the prophet came to his house and he told him, Hezekiah, get your house in order for you shall surely die and not live according to the word. But Hezekiah, the Bible tells us, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. He turned his face to the wall and he called you remembrance of your word. You say, remember, Lord, how I was diligent. Remember how I served you, Lord God. Remember how I did everything that you've asked me to do, Lord. Oh, and the Bible tells us, Hezekiah began to weep. You turned the prophet around. You told him, go back. Go back because he had called me in remembrance of his word. Go back. Tell Hezekiah, not only I'm going to take this sickness from him, but I'm going to also extend his life. I'm going to give him 15 more years. So we thank you, Lord God, that you're that same God. You are that same God right now. And we thank you, Lord, that the enemy, he cannot have our churches. He cannot have our children. 
He cannot have our husband, the wife. He cannot have any part of the body of Christ, Father. So right now, we go forth at the mighty army, Lord. Oh, we know the Bible tells us that one can chase a thousand. Two can put ten thousand to flight. So right now, we thank you, Lord God, that we have the enemy going to flight right now, Father. That he's under our feet where he belongs. So we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We went forth in prayer this morning. We thank you that you had an ear to hear our prayer right now and our supplication. As we sing praise and worship you this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you right now that you are putting the enemy on the run. That we don't have to fight in this battle. For this battle is yours. And we win, Father. That's why you told us to fight the good fight of faith. Because when it's a good fight, when you win, it's a good fight. Knowing that although you're in this fight, that you already win. So we thank you, Father, that we've already won. You give the glory, honor, praise once again in thanksgiving. Thanks for those who you've been live streaming with us. We uh, have our service tomorrow. Uh, Nine o'clock, we have our family training. It's like an adult Sunday school. Oh, I just pray that you could come and get to come and see what the family training is all about. As we minister out the family training, you have a, a chance to even to give input on some of the scriptures and what we'll be uh, teaching on. It's me and uh, a few more. Uh, my property, Lucy, she, she's one. She's always on fire when she ministers her. Oh, that girl, that girl. But anyway, you have to come and see. Come and see the family training starts at 9. It's like I said, it's like an adult Sunday school. Then at 10 o'clock, we have our service. So we ask you that you could come tomorrow. Uh, even if you can't come for family training, just come and catch the 10 o'clock service. And Wednesday night, we have our Bible study. And we are making known Sunday whether it would be live streaming or whether it ended up being in the house. We'll let you know on tomorrow. So once again, we are grateful and we're thankful. Uh, go out and just share the Lord God with those that you are around and just walk in the goodness of God. Go and be blessed. We love you and God loves you more than we do. Be blessed, my children.